What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the recap for Chucky Season 3 Episode 8 Final Destination. Episode 8 opens with Tiffany being injected or so we think she's being injected to die and Nika is watching from outside the room. A guard bursts in killing several people in the room to save Tiffany. Nika watches in horror. Tiffany tells Nika goodbye while the guard shoots his way past everyone to help Tiffany escape. The inmates are released and cause a riot while killing a guard. We then jump to Jake who is still dead and in the spirit realm. Price confirms that Jake is medically dead at the moment. Devin is growing impatient and tries to revive Jake with the other drug but Timmy convinced him to trust the process. In the spirit realm, Jake sees his dad, Lucas. Jake makes amends with Lucas and Lucas warns Jake about how dangerous Chucky is on this side. Jake runs into Charles' ghost and asks where Caroline is. He tries to kill Charles. It doesn't work because he's already dead. He tries to do the same thing to Jake. It doesn't work because he's already dead. Chucky tells Jake he can pick a side to be on before directing Jake into another room called the dollhouse. Several iterations of Chucky are in this dollhouse watching his life play out on a big screen. Chucky tells Jake he's been scared his whole life. So what is it that he thinks he can do in the spirit realm because it's, in, because it's pointless anyway? Chucky argues with his youngest self or younger self, telling them to be patient, but they both get shh by the other Chucky's trying to watch the big screen highlight reel. So they turn to the crowd and tell them to sh tell them to F off or F you or something like that. Jake follows a Chucky doll that ran out of the theater into a bedroom where good Chucky resides. Good Chucky tells Jake grandfather Wil Wendell Wilkins has Caroline. Tiffany and the guard continue to escape with inmates following them. A sniper causes them to hide behind a cop car. The guard is eventually killed and Tiffany is left alone while Nika continues to chase her until she falls out of her wheelchair. Tiffany and other inmates escape while Nika shouts you're dead while Tiffany drives off. Jake tries to convince good Chucky to kill himself but while he's doing that the oldest Chuck or the oldest Charles Ghost is possessing Jake. Charles pretending to be Jake starts lying to Devin and Lexi and Grant while the White House starts to burn since it caught fire. In the elevator with Timmy, Chucky disposes of him as payback, beating him to death. Grant looks or locks Price in a room, leaving him to die. Price catches fire and burns to death. The trio make their way to Wendell Wilkins' house for Caroline after regrouping outside, outside of the White House. Grant was also reunited with his mother, Charlotte. That's the last time we saw Grant. Jake is acting strange this entire time. The trio is going to Wilkins' house and even when they get there and these two, Lexi and Devin, just don't seem to bat an eye at it at all whatsoever. So Wendell tells the trio his life story, discusses royalty checks, reveals his doll creations, including the good guy doll, the murders, how they impacted him. But Caroline came into his life with good news to see the beauty of Chucky, yada, yada, yada. Caroline dares Lexi to kill her if she doesn't like her anymore. The trio finds out Jake is actually Chucky and Caroline does the Dimbala chant to transfer Chucky back into a new doll body that Wendell had. Tiffany arrives at the house and Wilkins turns her back into a doll as well. Tiffany and Chucky get engaged again. Caroline drives off with the dolls. Nika comes to the house and finds out that the trio have been turned into dolls. Wilkins turned them into dolls. Nika is shown screaming at gunpoint while Wilkins or while Wilkins holds her at gunpoint and the episode just ends with Caroline driving off. Now this episode I will say was mildly entertaining but it was not a good episode. Not by any means at all whatsoever. The way they juggled so much and tried to cram it all into this short amount of time and then to introduce a significant character like you would think he would be the good guy creator in the very last episode and all we learn about him is just through exposition dumping his introduction left no impact it didn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things you find out he's in cahoots with chucky so i guess you could say it meant something but his significance is not being felt the way you think it is because he was introduced last minute all the stuff we were thinking we would learn about him or that we should learn about him it's just exposition dumped in the span of two minutes and it's like, are you serious? Can we at least get to know the man? Right off the bat, he's just revealed as a bad guy. I didn't even know they were going to do that. I thought we would at least get to know the man earlier before this. Because once I found out he was introduced in the finale, I'm like, are you kidding me? They're really rushing things here. And then the doll, the doll thing with the trio. <sighs> Again, the stakes there, they're just not, they're not landing. I know they're not going to stay dolls. You're going to turn them back into kids or turn them back into humans. So it's just the, the way the story takes these big swings only to undo it because they've done it so much in the past. 
it's conditioned me as an attentive viewer, like I've stated, to never really get too invested in what's transpiring on my screen. Yes, I realize this is a big thing to explore in season four, but I also know that they're just gonna turn them back into humans, probably rather quickly. Nika being held at gunpoint, I mean, Nika at this point, why not just kill her? Why hold her at gunpoint? Why not just pull the trigger? They have obliterated this character so badly I know Fiona has talked about being excited about what's to come in season four. Fiona does a terrific job with this character. You know, she's been my favorite character introduced since 2013. And to see what she has been reduced to in this TV show going out of season three and to where we could potentially be seeing her in season four, I don't like it. But Fiona always delivers. Uh, Jennifer Tilly always delivers. Zachary Arthur did a phenomenal job in this episode. Job well done to him. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Your name is video in the description. I have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.